Today, we're going to be talking about how to find and develop your own personal style. Finding your own style and sticking with it can be tricky at times because we're often swayed by others and others' opinions. Although listening to others is good at times, it can also hold you back from developing your own style and stop you wearing what will suit you best. In this video, I'm going to talk you through all the methods that I use to find my own personal style, and I think they're going to help you find yours too. Don't get finding your own style confused with it meaning that you have to wear the same kind of style for the rest of your life. My style has changed throughout the years and it continues to develop, but it follows a pattern and I know what works best for me. Think of your personal style like building a house. You need to lay down the foundation first before you can start developing from it. You can make changes to the building along the way, but the foundation stays the same. So once you've laid down the foundations in your own personal style, you can start developing and building from there. I hope this makes sense, because if not, it's not the best way to start off a video where things just don't make any sense, but things will become more clear throughout the video, so don't worry. Anyway, let's get into the tips to help you find your style. If you like this video at any point, don't forget to give it a like, and now that's all out the way, let's get into the first tip. The first tip is one I always bang on about on the channel, but it needs to be said here too. And that's to keep things simple, at least to start with. Fashion doesn't need to be complicated. And in my opinion, some of the best looks are the most simple. So keep statement pieces to a minimum to start with and focus on the basics like the fit and the quality of the clothing. This way you're gonna get a good understanding of what fits work best for you and your body shape. Once you're happy and comfortable in that area, then you can start experimenting more. The next tip is probably one that you wouldn't expect me to say on this channel, but it is to follow trends. There's plenty of reasons on why you shouldn't follow trends, but they do have their pros too. For one, they're a great way to introduce people into fashion when they have no idea where to start. They can make you try things out that you may have not tried out otherwise, and if you do get on well with a style, those kinds of items are easy to buy. Ditch the stuff that doesn't work for you though. Just because an item is trending doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. So keep hold of the stuff that works and ditch the rest. You'll eventually start to see a bit of a pattern and a theme going on in the items that you keep hold of, and then you can go from there. But we'll talk about building themes in your wardrobe later on in the video. But until then, let's move on to the next tip. The next tip is to use Instagram as inspiration. Not a groundbreaking tip, but it's definitely one that I had to include in this video. You can use things like Pinterest and the internet itself too, but I find Instagram the easiest and the best out of the bunch. Start saving outfits you like to your safe photos on Instagram, and then after a while, you may start to see a pattern to the items that you're saving. Start also following people whose style you like over on Instagram and see where they're buying their clothes from. You can always follow me over there too if you like. Then from each person, try out the pieces of clothing that they're wearing that you like, and just leave the rest. You don't have to dress exactly like them. You can just take parts of their outfits and by mixing and matching different parts of different people's outfits together, you end up developing your own unique style. For example, you may like the way that someone wears the bottom half of their outfits, but you may prefer the way someone else wears the top half. By combining the two parts of two different people's style together, you end up creating a new look. So once you've started to find the types of items that you like and that suit you best, you may start to notice a bit of a theme going on the same items may pop up over and over again. Maybe the pieces are all based around a similar color, or maybe you like relaxed fitting clothing best. But whatever it is, take note of that theme, and then when it comes to buying future purchases, try sticking to that theme as much as possible. By sticking to a theme, you're gonna have a wardrobe made up of similar pieces, and all of those pieces are gonna work well together. For example, my style is very simple, and I like to wear a lot of neutral colors. I like to buy these kinds of items because of how versatile they are, and how easy they are to layer. I can mix and match any of the items from my wardrobe together, and nine times out of 10, they're gonna work well together. I also look for items of clothing that I can dress up and down, so I can get different looks from the same pieces of clothing. So when I'm buying clothes in the future, I'll look for clothes that fit into this category so they work with the rest of my wardrobe. So for example, if I've got a choice to buy a black sweatshirt or a bright green sweatshirt, it makes more sense for me to buy the black sweatshirt because it's gonna fit in better with my style and my existing wardrobe. That's not to say that you should never buy anything that's different from your personal style because it's nice to have some standout pieces, but we need to find your personal style first and lay down that foundation. Your style at the end of the day becomes your own personal uniform. And in my opinion, it's really nice to have a style or a look that people know you for. Then once you've got that look and your uniform nailed down, you can start to introduce more standout pieces then. But for now, let's just keep things simple. The next tip that I wanna talk about is all about confidence. You need to feel confident and comfortable in your clothing. So 
So get rid of anything that doesn't make you feel that way. Even if it looks great on someone else and you love the item of clothing, if it doesn't make you feel confident, get rid of it. If you're not wearing your clothing with confidence, then it's gonna show and it's gonna let down your overall look. If an item isn't making you feel good, it's not making you feel confident, then it's probably not you. It's probably not your style. Do, however, push yourself out of your comfort zone from time to time, because sometimes we can get a bit too comfortable in what we're wearing and things can get a bit boring. There's a difference between trying something new and going out of your comfort zone and not feeling completely comfortable and just wearing things that don't work for you and give you no confidence. Another great way to develop your own personal style and your own unique style is take your clothing to a tailor. If you've got a pair of trousers, for example, that you absolutely love, but you can't find another pair anywhere, then take them to your tailor and show them to your tailor and get them to tailor another pair of trousers in the exact same way. You can develop unique pieces in this way and get a uniform look that works perfectly for you. I know going to the tailor can be a bit of a pain at times and it can be quite daunting, but if you can't find what you're looking for straight off the rack, then just take your clothing to a tailor. Once you find your style and what works for you, don't be swayed by others and others' opinions. There's no right or wrong when it comes to fashion. If you've got a style that you like but someone else doesn't like, it doesn't mean that you're wrong, it just means it's not to their taste. We all like different foods, different music, different movies, and the list goes on. If I don't like a food that you like, it doesn't mean that that food's not delicious, it just means it's not to my taste. It's the exact same thing with fashion. If someone else doesn't like a style that you like, it just means it's not to their taste. So at the end of the day, you've got to wear what you like and what makes you feel comfortable because you're never going to please everyone. Once you start to think like this is when you start to develop your own personal style and dressing in the way that you want. Yes, use others for inspiration and listen to others' opinions, but at the end of the day, you've got to do what you like the best. The last thing that I want to say is have fun with it and don't put too much pressure on it. It's something that's going to happen over time and it's going to develop over time. So it's not something that just magically happens overnight. You don't go to bed, wake up the next day and you just found your style. It doesn't work like that. It's an ongoing journey and a journey that you should enjoy. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. I think we've covered a lot. The light's starting to go as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya.